I always have been a part of it and I actually in my younger years uh, worked right in the surf with my chest waders on and and helped harvest it and the whole process right through to the selling of it. It was um, always intriguing for uh, our guests that were looking at the lighthouse and uh, come out on the shore and they'd want to talk to us. Can we uh, please excuse us if we ask what you're doing here? Well, I said, we're simply uh, gathering Irish moss. Well, what's that Irish moss used for? They always had that question. What do you do with it? Well, when we told them they're eating it in ice cream, their eyes popped open and their chins <laughs> dropped. <laughs> they never realized that. Yeah, they couldn't believe they were eating yeah. it. Hi, um, I'm Gilbert Gillis, and this is my wife, Goldie. We're here doing an experience and we call our experience Seaweed Secrets. We just uh, love meeting people and telling them all about uh, the harvesting aspect of the moss, the fishing of the Aris moss, the, um, the history of how it all started. We uh, have a um, marine biologist uh, or botanist that uh, comes and uh, gives a wonderful presentation of uh, the properties of all these sea plants. Smell that. I want to ha hand that around and smell it. it. It is the only seaweed in the world that I've ever, and I've been all around the world, that has that kind of perfume. It's, it's nice at this stage. As that plant dries, that plant will fill this whole big boat shed with the smell of that perfume as it dries. And after a while, it gets like really overpowering. This all started around uh, the year 1945. In fact, that was the year the old Moss warehouse was built here on the tip of the Point Prim uh, here. They didn't know what Irish Moss looked like. They didn't know uh, it existed on the shore hardly. And um, so the buyer took the fisherman out on the shore and he picked up a big tassel or cluster of Irish moss off the shore and he held it up and he showed it to the boys and he says, boys, this is what we're looking for. Basically three different methods of uh, harvesting Irish moss, you know, on the island here. There's this way with the scoop and the fork and the whisk broom and then there's by the horses. The horses tow a much larger net behind them and they go out in the surf uh, with the horses and pull it in. And then the third method is by raking uh, metal rakes behind uh, fishing boats. Carrageenan is what they're looking for. And As you know, ice cream is a big user of it and, and um, a lot of food products. And not only that, it's used in making um, toothpaste, shaving cream, certain brands of beer, um, paint medicines, industry. the paint industry. Many, many uses. So An yeah. aftershave, and it's wonderful for your skin. It's, uh, it uh, Moisture. moisturizes your face you know, after a shave. I'm convinced that there's something very special and medicinal about this, this particular plant. But Goldie has sort gone a step further. further and made a crumb crust and serve it as a pie. Yeah. You can do it as a pie, or you can do it as mold, in a mold. It's an old Gaelic or Irish, uh, Scottish uh, recipe that my mother inherited from my grandmother. And in the winter time, we'd often have Irish moss, uh, blanc la mange uh, pudding. We've always yeah. invo been involved in tourism because we've always rented cottages. And um, now we have our beach house just down back there as four star ocean front. One couple was from uh, New Mexico and the lady in, in that, with that couple, she was so enthusiastic, she was taking notes. And she told the ladies behind the counter there at the Visitor Information Center that this was her best experience ever. The best thing she's ever done on PEI. Yeah. Well, that was a good Feedback. pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs>